All right, what's up guys, Jerry Campisi. Welcome back to the channel. We're back at Ducati Santa Barbara with our beautiful Street Fighter. And today we're gonna to be installing carbon fiber pieces for our side radiator covers. Uh, and we might do a carbon uh, front sprocket cover as well. And we also have more carbon on the way. Today's video is gonna drastically change the look of this bike. Um, so I'm really, really excited for it. I hope you are too. Sit back, relax, and with you. All right, so we got the beautiful Christina K finally back on the channel. Uh, she's gonna be doing the unboxing for us. Um, don't forget guys, you can still enter to win this bike and our uh, custom Panigale V2, patreon.com slash campeasycustoms. There's only a few weeks left as of the posting of this video, which is late February. So if you wanna be entered, sign up immediately because these bikes are gonna be badass and they're gonna be gone very soon. So uh, carbon front sprocket cover. Um, we weren't able to get the Ducati Performance Carbon, so we had to go out, out outside the box for this carbon, but it's still a really nice company. This is a twill weave. Um, and it's matte finish, so it does match, but you can see the weaves is a tiny bit bigger than what it is there, but honestly, it looks totally fine next to each other. And um, our BST carbon fiber wheels are also a twill weave, so we've already had two different types of weaves. Normally, I wouldn't do that, but because of COVID, we've had to get creative. So uh, I, I believe um, Full Six will have all of this carbon parts, so you'll be able to get them through Manny Mo uh, Moto Million. <laughs> Manny Million. <laughs> Moto Million. Um, these are the bell of the balls for today. So. This right here is the carbon fiber for the side radiator covers. Um, this was really one of the main pieces I didn't like about the bike because it's silver and nothing else on the bike is silver. I thought that they should have made those black from the get-go. When they first came out with the Panigale, the front frame was also silver and I complained about that and then they actually changed it to black. So, you know, they do listen to what I, what I say and I do appreciate that. <laughs> so uh, here's two of the radiator carbon pieces. Um, we're using the bike as a, look at that, look at that guys. So these pieces do have a little bit more of a sheen to them. So this is kind of like a satin finish, whereas you can see this is like completely matte. Um, but the good news is whenever we take these bikes in to get them um, ceramic coated, they can match all of this together for us. So it will all match perfectly. So that, that'll be really, really nice. Look at that guys. So not only is this gonna look a lot better, it should save some weight as well. So we love saving weight. We do. So I'm really, really excited for this. Let's uh, get started. So first thing we gotta do is what, take the wings off? Yeah. Unfortunately, the wings are arriving like tomorrow or else we could have done them uh, alongside this. But uh, it'll be interesting to see. Hopefully it's not too much work to do the wings, right? Like once no, we have this done? No. Okay, cool. So that'll be fine. How, how difficult is it to get to these things? Uh, literally, you just gotta move the wings and that's Oh, okay, it. sweet. Because I know on the uh, X Diablo, it was a, a nightmare yeah, to do them. Sure. So it's not as bad as that? No. Okay, thank yeah. God. Because it took <laughs> us like three hours to do the freaking side panels on the, on the X Diablo. If you have a secret for it, it's not that bad. Right? Yeah, but okay. The secret is just the wings. Yep. Perfect. And I can't wait to get rid of these stupid plastic wings too. On a on a $26,000 motorcycle, I, it kind of blows my mind that they don't come with carbon pieces. Yeah, right? Yeah. I mean, I guess I understand they got to save money where they where they can. Yeah. And especially for the base model coming in at nineteen nine, that is a really good price for this bike. It is one of the best motorcycle hyper uh, nakeds in the world. Like, I think it's literally the highest horsepower to, to weight ratio, right? I don't think anything else is higher. The MV is probably pretty close, but I think that's heavier. And uh, the, the the ZH2 um, just is too heavy. So yeah, yeah, it's uh, this is a really good bike. I'm I've loved this thing, dude. Yeah, it, and this is gonna just make such a big difference. So yeah, just removing the wings. Couple of looks like two bolts each. Or two screws are they called? I always call yeah. things bolts. People yell at me in comment these, sections. These ones you could call bolts. Ah, uh, there you so go. Because it has a head. Yeah, I'm so learning. You're right. Yep. Okay, so what was it? One screw here and one yeah, in the back? One in the front. Oh, one in the front. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then that's it and it slides right off? Interesting. So I think what we'll do is we'll pull all of these off and can we weigh them versus the new ones? Yeah. Okay, sweet. That's what we'll do. And then bottom one coming off, same thing, right? One screw in the front, one in the back. Yeah. That's it. Boom. Sweet. Look at how much better it looks already just in black. <laughs> Okay, so just repeating the process on the other side, and then once we have everything off, we can throw these on the scale and see if it does save any weight at all. I'm thinking probably be minimal, but anything you can get, I'll take it. Okay, so we got all the stock parts uh, from the radiator side covers on the scale, and it looks like they're coming in right at 1.5, so one and a half pounds. So now we'll swap over the uh, carbon. 
All right, so we have all the carbon side radiator covers on there and it's half a pound, which means we just saved a pound on, on the freaking radiator covers. That's crazy, dude. That's awesome. Okay, I did not think it would be that much. That makes me very happy. So the next thing Corey's doing is just transferring over some of the stock hardware. So it's basically where the uh, bolts grew into and he's gonna do that on each piece and then we should be ready to start installing these bad boys. They look gorgeous. All right, first piece going on. I cannot wait for this, guys. So, how's the uh, fitment? Everything seems to be lighting yeah, perfect. up? Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. I do kind of wish that these were black, but I guess they kind of get covered up by the, um, yeah. the, the winglets anyway. Maybe we can uh, maybe we can do a little Sharpie special on those. <laughs> just kidding. We'll find black ones over, just leave them silver. Um, that looks really, really nice. Teens, are, they're talking about movies. Christina hasn't seen Happy Gilmore. We're giving a crap for all the How crazy is that? Happy Gilmore and Billy Madison. Yeah. That's the, we were talking about all time favorite movies. That was Corey's, right? right. Happy Gilmore? I love it. Yeah. Mine is Gladiator. Gladiator? Mm hmm. That's my all time favorite movie. Know. What do you think? All time favorite movie? I have no idea. I'm going to be no a idea. bro and say Fight Club. Fight Club, dude. That's in my top five. Yeah, that's definitely. That's an amazing. Tyler Durden. You got it. Teens? Happy Love. All time favorite movie? I don't have one. Hers would be a Disney movie. She literally <laughs> watches Disney movies nonstop. And what, what is this jacket? Like, I don't even know what to say about it's this. It's got. Keep it all over. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> this is much better. <laughs> it's warm. Don't worry, I just fixed it. slash Christina Khalil. <laughs> all right, first piece is on, and it looks absolutely incredible, guys. He's putting the bottom piece on right now. I cannot wait until we have the carbon winglets next to this, and then with the carbon frame covers, too. Ooh, it's going to look really good, guys. All right, so he's got top and bottom on the left side. Look at that. That actually looks incredible. Like, it really does. It looks so much better than the silver. They should just be painting those black from the factory, in my opinion. But the reason why we, we were thinking about painting these, but the reason why we didn't is because we saved a pound, which doesn't sound like much, but I also prefer raw materials over paint anyway. So that looks really, really good. Now he's putting these on. These will get replaced once our uh, carbon wings come in. So that's gonna look really, really good. It already looks way freaking better. All right, so the winglets do have a torque spec. Obviously, they're under a lot of pressure because they serve uh, as downforce. Do you know what the torque spec is for those, Corey? It's six newton meters. Six newton meters. That seems like such a tiny amount, yeah. you know? That's it's crazy. It's pretty close to hand tight. Yeah, okay, there you go. Nice. All right, so fitting the right-hand side now, and my God, does that look better. This side's obviously in the sun, so you can see it a little bit more. Damn, carbon looks so good. I actually really like the satin finish too. That looks incredible. Guys, look at that shit right there. Damn, that's not even with the wings on it. So it actually makes the bike look smaller in person. I know, I said that too. Once the wings are carbon, it'll look amazing. But what this is doing, guys, is it's starting to break up all the red and tie in the, all the carbon in the tail section. So this is gonna help give it like a custom look to it. I haven't seen anyone do these yet. As far as I know, these are one of the first in the world to be installed. So that's freaking badass. How, how did they go on, Corey? Pretty they good. were good. Yeah, it's nice and, and it's a good fit too. Yeah, that is sick. So now he's gonna put the wings back on and then we'll do the front sprocket on the other side. But that looks incredible. All right, look at that, guys. Trevor was qu questioning us. What do you think? I really like it. It looks man. good, right? Yeah, I like it a lot. And once these wings are carbon, it's going to look even freaking better, dude. Yeah. I think it makes the bike look smaller, and I, I really it like that. It more narrow. Yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah, it looks even more sleek and yeah. badass. Look at that, guys. I hope it comes across on camera. That is really, that, was that is incredible. I love that. So right now, you can't get those but Full 6 will have these available in the future. So um, I don't think Ducati Performance is doing these. Do we know? Ducati Performance, so you're gonna wanna wait for Full 6. Um, uh, Moto Million will have them, so just hit up Manny if you want them. Get on a waiting list, because it's probably gonna be long. But hopefully in the next couple of weeks to a month, they should start having all their carbon parts. Obviously, that's what we use for all of these uh, other pieces. But yeah, that looks absolutely incredible. I think Corey's pulling off the uh, the sprocket, we're gonna do the uh, front sprocket right now and switch that over the carbon. And then I think that's probably gonna be it for today. We do have other carbon parts arriving, so it's just gonna look better and better, guys. All right, stock piece off plastic. We don't like plastic. Corey's putting all this stuff back together. Look at that. God, why does carbon look so, so good? <laughs> it just looks so freaking good. My God, was this a pain in the ass to get off? It looks like you got bit. a lot of stuff. Just gotta take this. 
assembly apart yeah. and move it off. Damn, look at that. See, now I want this whole thing uh, painted black. That's the last silver piece left. Fortunately, we don't have time for it, but uh, damn, it still looks incredible. All right, so he's got things back together, and uh, that looks absolutely incredible. It really does look good. My God, I actually could have got a carbon cover for this too as well, but I don't really like using covers. I, I like to do it when it replaces something, because then you're really just adding weight to it. You know? Oh God damn it! What are you guys talking about? Shrek. <laughs> Shrek. Okay. Alrighty. Teens was talking about how the the cast aluminum looked bad, and what did she say? It had a. She said it, it makes my eye sore. Or my eye sore or sore eye? eye. It's a sore eye. What's she doing over there? Sore eye. Yeah, that's what she does. Anyway, that that looks a lot better. Trevor said that's one of the first things he changes. He hates sprocket cover stock ones. The, again, that's something that's hard to see on camera, but I'll tell you in in person It looks really really good and once we add the uh, swing arm protection in carbon that's gonna look really freaking badass We'll do the wings probably in the front uh, Carbon frame covers in the next video and then we should have this along with the comfort seat and the carbon for here uh, After that so yeah, this thing is looking pretty pimp I think what we'll do is pull it off the uh, rear stand here and then uh, take a look so I, I did. I found I out what John. I, found, <laughs> I found out what Teens was doing. She's gonna actually paint these uh, bolts so that they're black. Uh, I told him made a little flower design. Yeah, I was gonna tell them they can just sharpie them, but I guess they're going straight Tamsies, up. Tamsies, you know. Painted. Only okay. the best for whoever gets this. Bike, yeah, that's you know? that's uh, further than I would go with my own bike. <laughs> and I like to paint, so it's like she fun. actually <laughs> is really good at painting. She'll do those like thousand paint by number things. It takes like literally two hundred hours, yeah. and I'll, I'll literally I'm like. You couldn't pay me money to do it, and she does it and for fun. Stitching, like stuff that grandmas do. Basically. Yeah, that's really weird. Uh huh. One of the top girls on OnlyFans is doing paint by numbers and cross stitching. <laughs> okay. All right. How's it looking, teens? Wow. That actually looks awesome. You know. That looks incredible, and it's nice too because it'll be paint so that it won't come off. Yeah. So you got to do that for every one. How many are there? Four. So three more. So I gotta more. get now. I gotta lay down and get you gotta nice, lay down. nice and dirty down. Yep. Here. Lay down. You might want to pop that top off. You want to get it dirty. I need. I need my airbags. Yeah. Lay on those airbags. All right. So there you go, guys. Look at the difference. And it has a little teens touch. She's pulling off the stuff. This is actually the perfect person to do this. Uh oh. What are you doing? Screwing it up? As I'm as I'm giving you compliments. <laughs> okay. All right. Speaking of which, oh, it's too black, can't even see it. There we go, look at that hiney, wowskers. All right, so Teens finished her painting work. We are all good to go. I actually, absolutely, that's one of my favorite mods we've done so far. It looks incredible, and as soon as those, the entire look of the bike. right, it, yeah. it really did. And as soon as those wings are carbon, uh, and the carbon uh, frame covers and stuff, man, this bike's gonna look Top of the line. incredible. So yeah, as you can see, those look incredible. Great work, teens, I appreciate it. The sprocket cover looks really, really good. And I can't wait for the rest of the mods. So I think that's going to do it for this video. We're going to push it over there and take some uh, photos that you guys will see in the thumbnails and the end of the video. Teens, thank you for your help. I always appreciate it. And uh, don't forget, you guys can sign up to be entered to win this bad boy. We are going to be doing a giveaway event here at Ducati Santa Barbara, which we'll hopefully have the next bike for as well. So you'll be able to see us uh, choose the winners for these bikes and then have the next build series bike here as well. So a lot to look forward to. Thank you so much for the guys here at Ducati Santa Barbara. Uh, don't forget to get signed up on Patreon if you wanna win these bad boys. Moto Million for the parts. Everything's always linked in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and we'll see you in the next one.